Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial and we're going to do some work with vector field in Unity and I'm going to use Houdini for this and this is what we're going to do it's going to be ghost traveling here and the use case for this vector field is that it kind of gives direction where it should go so if you notice it kind of avoid the rocks and go in between instead and it's used with a vector field but it's not a collision mesh, it's more like a force field that um, guide where to go. So there might be some ghosts going uh, through the rocks, but in general, they are following it pretty nicely. They are kind of going above it a little bit and on the sides. So it will be four tutorials maybe, and we're gonna make the ghosts too in Houdini. Really small, tiny, super quick, easy one. In the first tutorial, I'm just going to set up the VFX so it works uh, as a default. And then we're going to do the ghost and shader. And then in the last tutorial, so I'm going to do the vector field. So if you're only in for the vector field, then you can skip the two first and check out the third and fourth, fourth tutorial. And if you want to follow along in Houdini, you need this VFX toolbox that Unity made. Uh, so you can export stuff in Houdini and you can find the link in the description how to how to install that stuff. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. And the uh, rock asset I bought on uh, Unity asset, asset Store. I'm going to give you a temp mesh if you want to follow along. And you can find that in the description too. And I guess I'm going to add the vector field too. So if you just want to understand how to do this without Houdini, you should be able to do that too. So, and yeah, we're going to do the uh, veins here too. And yeah, let's get started. So first off, we're going to start in a scene that looks like this. And I'm going to, yeah, you can use your own mesh, of course, to make your own scene and stuff. But <clears throat> what's really important is that you want to try to have it kind of solid. And we're going to fix that. If you not do it solid, we're going to fix it in Houdini. But what I mean is you don't want a hole like this. Because we're going to make a vector field and we're going to have guidance stuff. And we want the lines, the guidance to go from the outside and inside. So we don't want it to do a shortcut in the holes. And it will be more understandable when I start in Houdini. But first we're gonna just make a setup. So we have, yeah, we can hide this for now. So we're gonna make the VFX setup here now. And I'm gonna use a minimal system and add the stuff we need in it. So here we have the vector field and yeah, it's nothing going on really at the moment. And here we have it. <clears throat> so what we want, we want to make sure that we spawn ghosts all the time. So we're going to have a constant spawn rate here. And I'm going to do it 200 at the moment. And here we only are able to do 64 ghosts. So I'm going to cap it up to 50,000. So now we have, a, uh, we are able to do 50,000 if we want. And let's see what we're going to do more. And we want to set a lifetime. So I'm going to make sure ghosts never live more than 10 seconds and here in the update well actually first we need to spawn some position we want them to be somewhere um so we can have the scene here so we see what's going on so here are the particles they are in the center of the system this is our vfx setup and we need to spawn them somewhere. So I'm going to set posi position shape box. Now we have a box 
and so they're going to be spawn, spawned inside this box. So if we take back the cave here, I want the box to be a little bit out here. And when you have it selected like this, you can actually, if you open the box here, you should be able to, let's see, you should be able to move this here. Yeah. So now I'm not moving the setup itself. I'm actually moving this box. So if you notice here, you can see that it's changing here. So then we can just move it and do the size we want. So I'm actually going to have 24, maybe 20. So now we have a much bigger box. So I'm going to have it like this something. Yeah, this is going to be nice. So now all the all the particles are spawned in here. And they are only live in 10 seconds. And I want them to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do set scale and no set scale is wrong what I miss set size and I also got to have it randomly so we have different sizes so I'm going to do from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 we have different sizes and then I also want an initial velocity and I want the velocity to be in the direction towards the hole and in this case if we look at here you can see the blue arrow is pointing this direction so we need to add the velocity in this direction so now we see now they are moving towards and i guess we can just do that call yeah we're going to change this one so we're not going to have quad here we're going to do a mesh instead we're going to have shader graph mesh. So this is good for now. We're going to change it is soon. Not yeah, soon. So now we have it working and I'm going to set up some more stuff here. So in this update, <clears throat> I'm going to do a few st uh, stuff and I want to have a little bit of turbulence here. Because I want them to go a little bit wobbly. So now you see they're kind of moving a little bit wobbly. And um, we're going to leave that for now. And they actually will stop moving. So, hmm, okay, I will leave it for now. But we're going to use it later. But the, what, another thing we want, we, we want to use, have the trail on all these ghosts. So if you notice, I had a trail uh, on the um, on the ghosts. So if we look one more, more time, we need to make some kind of trail to them. So we're going to do that. So our nice pink ghost here is going to have some trail. And the way to do that is like trigger over time so we're going to trigger stuff here and i'm going to set it to default at 50 <clears throat> and what's happening here during lifetime it's going to trigger uh, 50 times or i'm over time so i'm going to do a gpu event so this is going to be triggered 50 times so we need to initialize particle strip because it's going to be a strip and we're just going to update update particle strip and then we're going to have a trail unlit trail so and also you see if you look here we see the ghost and then if you look here we don't see it and the reason is because our setup here is um, have a bounding box only render if you see this little bit square here and in order to make it bigger you can go up here in the um, bounds 
And if you do size, we can do like 20, 20, 20. We can actually do it even bigger like this. So now whenever this box is in the viewport, we can see it. So that's good. So let's go back and see the trail on this one. And in order to make trails, each time this one triggers here, so each, each time this trigger event happen, we need to read this uh, position. So we're going to set position from, from source. So this position is set when it's triggered. So it will take the ghost's position. So uh, we're also going to make sure that we have a lifetime here. I only want them to be able to exist for one uh, second. And um, yeah, we should be able to see something now. I don't know why. Um, why isn't it showing up? And the reason could be here in initialized particle strip. This is how many strips we're able to have at the same time. And we have here 200 ghosts that spawning each um, frame I, or 200 ghosts per second. And so we need to make sure that we can have a lot of uh, strips. So I'm going to make it to a half a million. And now you can see that we're starting to get the strip here. Perfect. And if we look like this, you see it's kind of facing to the side. So we need to change the orientation on this one. So if I take the orientation advanced, and then I'm actually going to change to a long velocity. Now we should see the stripes. No. Hmm. Get an error. Orient mode along with this invalid. Okay. So, um, face camera plane. Okay, I don't know. It didn't want to work. Orient. Orient. Look at camera position. Okay, now it works. So now they will always face where the camera is. Super nice. So that's how we do the um, kind of stripe after the ghost. So let's see what we have here. What I miss? Well, we're going to have a color so we can control the color on the ghost and the stripes. So we can add it now and we're going to have the color set color here. And we're going to make the default to bluish. And we're going to also set the alpha. Set the alpha over light lifetime. So we have them a little bit stronger and then weaker at the end. So yeah, this is good. So yeah, okay. So this is a start. So we have the, some kind of thing to work with. So this is how the setup is looking now. And um, we're going to tweak it. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to make the ghost and make sure that everything looks good enough to start with um, Houdini stuff. So thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.